Hey there, thank you for joining me for today's practice. So you've made it to the end of the second week. Well done, it really is an amazing effort and it takes a lot of dedication to get on your mat and commit to a practice or a daily practice. And so you should be super proud of yourself. And I hope that you're starting to feel the impacts of what a daily practice can bring into your everyday life and just how it starts to create a little bit more space. You might notice uh, you can bring in aspects of the practice as a way to resource yourself throughout the day in just in other moments, you know. So you might be starting to get a little bit stressed or you might be noticing you're just starting to get a bit worked up in some way and you can do things like come back to the breath, notice where your feet are, notice how you're feeling. It's, you know, all these skills are just, they're so important and amazing for life. So thank you for joining me and we're going to make a start. So make sure you're nice and comfortable. Um, today is a whole body flow, um, but we'll just give a little bit of extra attention to the upper body as well. It's, uh, it's, it's gentle, but we will do a little bit of working through the legs as well. Okay, so let's make a start when you're ready. Let's uh, come into your child's pose, big toes together, knees wide. And we'll just take a slight variation on our child's pose where bring the elbows uh, a little bit further forward if you can, palms the hands together, and then start to rest the head down towards the mat. And if it's possible, bring the hands back behind the head. You can close down the eyes. Starting to notice the breathing. Taking the breath into the lower back, feeling the lower back spread, and then as you exhale, allowing the hips to be heavy. And then let's bring to mind our sankalpa. Just repeating it to yourself three times. And then let's start to actively lengthen into the breathing, slowing down the inhale, slowing down the exhale, and again, slowing down the inhale, slowing down the exhale. And then extend the arms away long, Press the palms, the hands down, short hands shoulder distance apart. Taking one more breath here in the center. And then walking the hands over to the left hand side, perhaps stacking the right hand on top of the left if that's available, grounding down through that right sitting bone. And then inhale as you go through centre, going the other side, stacking the left hand on top of the right, grounding that left sitting bone down. Just continuing to stay with that long, smooth breathing. And then taking an inhale, coming back through centre, extending those arms forward just one more time. And then making your way up into a tabletop position, spreading through the hands, bringing the knees just a little bit closer together, so a little bit more narrow than hip distance apart. And then we're going to cross the right foot over the left and lift the feet off the mat. And then we're going to take the feet over to the right, head looks over to the right, and then take the feet over to the left, and the head looks to the left. 
and just continue with this action and then just allow it to take a little bit of momentum. So it's as if you're wagging a tail and just allowing the head and the feet to move. So we're taking a, a lateral action with the spine here. And then coming back to centre, releasing the feet down, resetting yourself into your tabletop position, reaching that right arm up towards the ceiling, taking an inhale, exhale to thread that right hand under, resting the head down for a moment, and then bringing the arm back up again. Inhale, use the eyes to follow the head, and then exhale, threading it under. And one more time, inhale, reach it up, and then exhale, threading it down, and then resting down onto that right shoulder, walking that left hand forward towards the top of the mat. Keep pressing down through the shin bones here. And you can keep the hand there, or start to walk it over towards uh, the right top hand corner of your mat. So you can keep turning the shoulders towards the left at the same time. Keep lifting that right hip up, trying to keep the hips centered as you rotate the upper body. Stay connected to your breathing. And then bring that left hand back underneath the shoulder, coming back up into your tabletop position. Carry this right leg out to the side, lining up this right, right heel with the left knee and tuck the left toes under, walking your hands forward, taking an inhale and then exhale to shift the weight back towards that left heel as you ground down through the outer edge of that right foot. Trying to wrap the armpits to face one another. And then let's take an inhale, coming back up onto the hands. Bring that right leg in. Bring the knees in a little bit closer together. Once again, lift the feet off and cross that left foot over the right and take the feet over to the left. Turn the head to look to the left and then feet to the right. And just so same action, this, and you might find that you want to bring your knees in a little bit closer together. You want to try to keep it compact so you can get that action of moving side to side. And then finishing off your last one, come back to centre, resetting into your tabletop, knees underneath the hips. Take the left arm up towards the ceiling, inhale, and then exhale threading it under the right arm and then again take it up inhale exhale threading it under and one more time inhale and then exhale resting down onto that left shoulder and then walking that right hand forward pressing down through the outer edge of that uh, left arm try to lift that left hip and shift the weight slightly back towards the left. If you would like to, you can walk that left hand over towards the top left hand corner and see if you can find a little bit more space to rotate through the upper body here. Keeping the breathing open. Steady the gaze. One more full breath. And then bring this right hand back underneath the right shoulder. Press yourself back into your tabletop. Carry this left leg out to the side, left heel in line with that right knee. Tuck the right toes under. And then walking your hands forward to lengthen the torso. Inhale and then exhale to shift the weight back towards that right heel. Keep pressing down through the outer edge of that left foot. Seal down through the palms of the hands. And then coming back into your tabletop position, bring that left leg in, tucking the toes under, press back into your down facing dog. Taking an inhale. And then as you exhale, starting to walk the feet forward up towards the top of the mat, finding your Uttanasana, feet can be hip distance apart or together. Taking an inhale into your halfway lift and then exhale, fold. 
soften through the knees and spine roll all the way up to standing, ground down through the feet, lengthen down through the fingers. Take the arms out to the side, inhaling, palms come together, look towards the thumbs and then exhale, forward fold over the legs, feeling free to bend the knees here as much as you need to. Let the head relax. Take an inhale into your halfway lift, hands to the shins or can stay down on the mat. Exhale, fold, bend the knees and step back into your plank position. Pressing the mat away from you here, take an inhale, exhale, come down to the knees, release the tops of the feet down and release all the way down. Take the fingers out to the side, onto the fingertips here and then press down through the tops of the feet, coming into your striking cobra, lifting up, lifting the eyes and then exhale to lower. We're going to continue but turning the head as we come up. So inhale, turn to the head to the right, come back to centre and exhale to lower. Turn the head to the left as you inhale, centre, exhale to lower. Head to the right, inhale, centre and lower. And to the left, inhale, centre and lower. Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under, press back through your tabletop into your down facing dog. Feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart. Take three full breaths here in your down facing dog. Try to draw the energy up the arms through both sides of the waist, right into the hips here. Trying to shift the weight back into the feet. Let's rise up under the balls of the feet. Take that right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands and then inhale into your crescent moon lunge. Bend a little bit deep into this front leg. Reach that left heel back. And you might need to take a little micro bend through that left knee just to try to lengthen out through the lower back. Reach that left heel back, bend a bit deeper into this front leg. Maybe start to lift the sternum, lift the eyes. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height and bring the palms of hands together. Imagine you're pulling a bow and arrow. You're going to draw this left hand back and slide it across the chest as you open out into your warrior two position, then palms come to face down, looking towards that right middle finger. Bend a little bit deep in that front leg. Ground down through the outer edge of that left foot. And then let's take this right hand, place it onto the upper back and hold the right elbow with the left hand. If you can, bend a little bit deep into this front leg, take an inhale, and as you exhale, start to lean the upper body back into your reverse warrior. Eyes can look up towards the ceiling. Taking one more inhale. As you exhale, straight into the front leg, release the hands, and we're going into a quite a long uh, stance variation of our Tikkunasana. So you could use your block or place the hand down under the ankle or above the knee, looking up towards that top left thumb. Draw the right kneecap up. Take an inhale. Exhale, look down towards the right big toe. And then on the next in-breath, keep the legs straight as you cut all the hands up. Left hand light on the back leg. Exhale to cut all the hands down, framing the front foot, coming into your sprinter's lunge for a moment. And then walk this right foot out to the side. So the right foot's to the outside of the right hand and then stepping the left foot to the outside of the left hand, sitting down into your malasana here. Bring the palms of the hands together. Elbows pressing the inner thighs out and then squeezing in with the inner thighs. Long through the spine. Breathing into the lower back. Taking an inhale. And then exhale. Bring the hands down, shift the weight forward so you can rotate 
the feet parallel and then walk the feet back into your Uttanasana, letting the head relax down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Take the arms out to the side. Inhale, palms, hands come together. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Bend the knees, stepping back into your plank position. Taking an inhale, exhale, knees down, release the shins down, coming all the way down. Once again, taking those fingertips out to the side, coming into your striking cobra. Take an inhale, coming up to centre. Exhale to lower, turning the head to the right. Inhale and exhale, centre to lower. Inhale, eyes to the left, centre and lower. Two more times. Inhale, centre. And lower, left as you inhale, centre and lower. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders, press yourself back into your down facing dog. Just taking one breath here now. Rising up into the balls of the feet, take that left leg up into your three legged dog, inhale. Exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands and rising up into your crescent moon lunge. A little micro bend through that, that back, back leg. Lifting that right heel up and try to press that right heel back. Knitting the lower ribs in. Seeing if you've got a little bit more space to bend a bit deep in that front leg, maybe dropping the tailbone down, lifting the sternum, lift the eyes. Taking one more inhale, exhale, bring the arms down to shoulder height, palms and hands come together. Imagine you're drawing a bow and arrow. Uh, wipe the hand across the chest and open out into your warrior two. Right heel comes down and then turn the palms to face down. Setting the gaze towards that left middle finger. Can you bend a little bit deep in that front leg? Take that left hand, take it to the upper back, holding on to your left elbow, taking an inhale, and then as you exhale, starting to lean the upper body back, eyes looking towards the ceiling. Open breathing. Taking one more inhale, stay for the exhale. And then on your next inhale, straining through that front leg, extending out into this variation of Trikonasana, quite long in the legs, turning the eyes to look towards that top hand. Draw that left quadricep up. Shoulders away from the ears. And pressing down through the outer edge of that right foot. Taking an inhale, exhale, turning the eyes, look down towards that left big toe. And then on the next in-breath, legs stay straight. Right hand comes light on the back leg, left arm up. Inhale, exhale, cut all the hands down, framing the front foot, coming onto the ball of the right foot and then walking the left foot out to the side, left hand to the inside, and stepping the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Sitting down into your Malasana squat, bringing the palms, the hands together, either staying with this variation or coming to your broken wing. Back of the left hand, tucking into that left side waist, elbow to the inside, and then the back of the right hand, tucking in to the right side of the waist, and just holding it here. Continue to try to lengthen out through the entire spinal column. Two more full breaths. And then 
releasing the hands. Bring the hands down, shift the weight to the hands momentarily so you can rotate the feet to parallel and then walk your feet back into your Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then press down through the feet to come up to standing. Palms, hands come together. And then exhale, hands back down through the centre into your Tadasana. Stepping out to your right, coming into your wide-legged stance here. Feet parallel, hands come to the waist. Take an inhale to lengthen up, lift the sternum up slightly, and then exhale, folding forward, taking the hands underneath the shoulders and lengthening out through the spine. Bring the hand to the centre of the chest so it's lining up underneath the sternum, and then open that right arm up towards the ceiling, looking up towards that right thumb. And the left hip is going to want to drop down, trying to counter that by lifting it up, squaring off the hips as you rotate the upper body to the right. Taking one more inhale and then exhale, bringing the right hand down, swapping the position with the left hand and then peeling open that left arm, looking up towards that left thumb. And this time trying to lift up that right hip that will want to drop down. Taking one more inhale and then exhale, bringing both hands down. Taking another in-breath to lengthen out through the spine and then as you exhale, walking the hands back, trying to line up the fingers with the toes and bringing the head down towards the mat, the top of the head down towards the mat. Lifting the shoulders away from the ears. Draw the quadriceps up and start to shift the weight forward onto the balls of the feet. Two more full breaths here. Walk the hands back out underneath the shoulders to extend, inhaling, and then exhale, start to walk the feet in. Feet together if you can, and then we're going to squat down. Make sure you've got enough room to sit back, maybe releasing those hands for a moment to come all the way down to your seat. And then let's keep the soles of the feet coming together, heels in towards the groin, just moving into your Bhattakonasana. So letting those knees open out, using the hands to peel open the feet, take an inhale and then exhale, folding down over the feet just to where you can. If it feels better for you to just bring your forearms down, feeling free to do that too. having a sense of letting everything slow down. Just one more full breath, inhaling. Staying for the exhale, maybe seeing if there's any more space. Just come a little bit further. And then taking an inhale to come back upright, bringing the legs together and then making your way down onto your back. Just taking a moment down on your back, feet flat on the mat, arms a little bit away from the body, palms facing up. Maybe closing down the eyes and just letting the weight of the body relax down to the mat. And then let's place the right ankle on top of the left thigh and bring the legs in towards you. Just coming into your figure four here, threading that right hand through the middle, either behind, interlacing the fingers behind that left thigh on top of that left shin. Pressing the right knee away from the right shoulder, taking an inhale, 
And then as you exhale, squeezing the legs in just a little bit more. And then let's release that left foot down, keeping the legs as they are, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, letting the uh, legs drop over in the same shape, standing down onto that right foot, maybe holding the outside of that right ankle or just placing that left arm out to the side, opening out that right arm, turning the eyes to look towards the right hand, maybe closing the eyes. Just breathing into that outer right hip and glute. So as you exhale, see if you can allow the lower back to relax back down towards the mat as you press the right knee away from the right shoulder. And then let's take an inhale, bring the legs back through centre, releasing that right leg down and placing that left ankle on top of the right thigh, threading the left hand through, interlacing the fingers, and then let's try to bring the legs in towards the chest. Keep that left foot flexed, pressing the back of the pelvis down as you continue to bring the legs in towards you. Just finding the breath. Taking one more inhale here. And then exhale, try to squeeze the legs in just a little bit more. And then let's release that, placing the right foot down. Keep the left leg exactly where it is, taking an inhale. And then exhale, let the legs drop, or drop down to the right hand side, maybe holding the outer edge of that left foot or letting the arm open out. Open out that left arm out to the side, turning the head to look towards the hand or closing down the eyes. Trying to press that left knee away from the left shoulder as the lower back tries to relax back down towards the mat. Just letting go of any unnecessary effort here. Taking one more full breath. And then inhaling the legs back through centre. Just releasing that left leg down. Bringing the knees in towards the chest for a moment, squeezing the knees in. Taking an inhale. And then as you exhale, let's release the legs out long. Just letting the feet fall away from one another. Arms away from the body, palms facing up, closing down the eyes. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose and then out through the mouth. Once again, deep breath in through the nose out through the mouth. Just allowing the breathing to settle back into its natural rhythm. Just feeling the entire back surface of the body relaxing into the ground underneath you. Allowing the face to be soft Shoulders soft, soft belly. This whole body completely letting go, resting here for the next few minutes.
Please feel free to stay resting here. Otherwise, let's start to deepen into the breathing, slowing down the inhale. And slowing down the exhale. Just feeling the belly rise and fall with each breath. And bringing a little bit of movement to the fingers and toes. Spinning one leg up at a time. Rolling over onto the right side or the left side, depending on what feels better. Just taking a few moments here on your side. Just noticing that subtle shift in energy as you roll over onto this into this position. And then making your way up to a seated position. And once you're in your comfortable seat, just closing down the eyes once again, just allowing the hands to rest down onto the legs. Just allowing the hips to be relaxed, the face soft. Bringing the left hand over the heart and then the right hand on top of the left. Just breathing into the hands. Just taking some time here to offer gratitude to yourself for making the time to care and respect for yourself in this way. Offering gratitude for this practice. And gratitude for the good that you have in your life. Bringing the palms of the hands together into your prayer in front of your chest, bowing the head down towards your hands. Thank you so much for practicing with me. It is just such a pleasure to guide you through these practices. Namaste.